Hi, this is Heather, and I just wanted to tell you something exciting that God had shared with me. I am always on the internet looking at different um, rapture videos and dreams of the rapture because I believe that God reveals a lot to his people. And um, one morning, um, maybe last week, I got up and I was... As soon as I woke up, I heard God's voice very clearly telling me, Rapture Puzzle, Bride's Week. And it was completely Him. It was His voice. And I just smiled really big and I said, Thank you, God. And I got up and I was like, Okay, that sounds familiar. But I wasn't quite sure exactly what it meant with regards to the rapture. So I looked online and I saw that um, in... Genesis 29, 27 through 35, um, it refers to the bride's week. And then I did some research and found out that in Jewish, Jewish wedding customs, the bride and groom were hidden away for a week, about seven days, to get acquainted before making their first public appearance as man and wife, since they typically did not spend time alone together before the wedding. So, um... I was trying to figure out, okay, that's the bride's week according to scripture. Now, how does that apply to the tribulation, to the rapture? And we know that the tribulation will be seven years long. So I was wondering if him saying rapture puzzle bride's week pointed to a pre-tribulation rapture. That way we would have the full seven year period of tribulation to get acquainted with Jesus before we make our first public appearance with him, riding with him to the Battle of Armageddon. That was just my thought. I'd love to hear anything that anyone else has to say about the Bride's Week with regards to the rapture, because that's what he told me. He said, rapture puzzle, Bride's Week. So that's what he shared with me. And he's a great God, knowing our interest in these things and really encouraging us. Um, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thanks. Bye.